when the Tea Party really first initially emerged in 2009, um, arguably the largest supporters politically uh, speaking of nationally known figures were women. People like Michelle Bachman, a former congresswoman uh, from Minnesota. She also started the Tea Party Caucus while she was in Congress. And then, of course, uh, the original Mama Grizzly herself, Sarah Palin, I think was uh, has still, I think, often linked with, with the Tea Party. Now, in my own research, I've studied conservative movements for a long time, including the Christian right. And I would say that in earlier right-wing movements, women have always been a part of these movements, but are really, I think, more behind the scenes rather than front and center. Um, <coughs> excuse me. There have been, I think, some notable exceptions to that rule. Phyllis Schlafly, I think, is probably the best known, uh, best exception to that. So Phyllis Schlafly, of course, is best known for having really stopped the ERA in the 1970s. In fact, one of the women that I interviewed for this book um, used to head the DC office of Eagle Forum, which is Phyllis, Phyllis Schlafly's organization. And the very first thing that this woman said to me when we sat down to be, to, for the interview is, Phyllis Schlafly was Tea Party before there was Tea Party. And she's actually right. She really was. If you look at some of the writings of Phyllis Schlafly, earlier and still today. Um, but generally speaking, though, while conservative women have always been active in politics, they really haven't been front and center in a way that I saw them in the Tea Party. So that's really what prompted the book. Why are so many women out in front of this movement? And then I wanted to know the significance of this for American politics. So many of you are here, you fo probably follow American politics closely, you've heard of the gender gap in American politics. And so since 1980, roughly, uh, women are significantly more likely than men to vote for Democratic candidates. They're more likely to identify as Democrats. And so what I wanted to, to determine was, nationally speaking, were we beginning to see a shift maybe in American women's orientation toward politics? Uh, were they maybe becoming more moderate, more right-leaning as opposed to being more left-leaning? And that's really the two, biggest, the two biggest questions that I'm addressing in the book.